Hi, Jared with VisibleTour.com, and today I got a package in the mail. <laughs> and some of you might have seen a video that I made a couple, maybe two years ago, called Lexar Sucks. Lexar Sucks? I mean, I, I, brand, I bought brand new cards, tried them out, and I could not get them to work properly. And it did in all my settings. Everything I did with the R6, it did not work well. And so Lexar just sent me something that I'm gonna unbox after they saw that video. So um, I have a small channel, just a little over 3,000 subscribers, and somehow their PR came across my little video that said Lexar sucks, and uh, they didn't like that. So <laughs> I received this in the mail. We're gonna unbox it right now. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in here. All right. So we have not one, but two Lexar cards. These are the V90 256K, um, and it is a 300 megabit, uh, read and a 260 I believe uh, when it comes to writing um, for that. So these are the fastest cards that Lexar has. I tested their V60 cards. They did not work well with the um, R6. I tested them on the R7. It did not work well on there. Um, they were telling me that I need to be using a V90. I did use a V60 card with um, Angel Bird and those cards worked well. Um, so I am going to be testing these cards over the next week and I'm going to come back with a brand new review on how these work with the R7 and the R6, 60 frames per second. Um, and then with the R7, we'll do 60 frames per second. We'll also do, um, the fine mode and I will let it run for a long time and I'm going to put it through its paces and see how these V90s stack up. I'm also going to do transfer rate as well on the computer in those tests. So we're gonna put it against my V60 that I've been using with Angelbird and putting it against uh, this when it comes to transferring because not only is it important to re or to write onto the card fast when you're doing six or 4K 60 frames per second, um, it is important to transfer them off as quick as possible so you can get them onto the computer for editing as well. Everything is important. You don't want a bottleneck. So we are going to find out how this goes. Um, I've never um, had a company reach out after I've totally just said how bad it was, <laughs> send me this and ask me to test these. So I am gonna do that. So full disclosure, they sent these to me so I can test them out and I will tell you my findings. I am excited to see where it's at because these are V90 chips and they are supposed to be the fastest ones. Um, I will, they're the gold series by the way. So there is a difference between the V90 regular series and the gold series. So. Um, we will address that a little bit more and I'll have more stats for you. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I will be having more content on the R7 talking about speed boosters and um, another lens that I did just get in that is going to be awesome on a speed booster for the R7. I also do want to add that I find it very, 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 and they didn't tell me to say this, impressive that a company saw a bad review of their own product sought after the person that made the bad review, which is me, <laughs> and tried to rectify it. You know, tried to say, hey, look, we have this other product that is probably better for what you're doing. Why don't you try this instead of saying, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So I wanna give Lexar kudos that they actually have good customer service and they are looking to actually improve. So we will see what that is gonna look like when I do these uh, tests side by side and I'm excited to see the results because I might be singing a different tune soon. Stay tuned, subscribe, and like this video. Talk to you soon.